Let's turn the lights on. Turn on the lights. Hello and welcome to November's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, as always, I will get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes tech world over the last month. And this includes two new CGMs. We go live to our correspondent on the ground in Canada, Michelle Lord on the newest information about Tandem in Canada. Hi, this is Michelle Lord reporting live from Canada. And yes, I can confirm that Basil IQ has officially been approved by Health Canada. And a lot more. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting that Basil IQ has officially been approved by Health Canada, which means my Dexcom G6 will now be integrated with my T-Slim insulin pump and I will have Basil IQ technology on my T-Slim insulin pump and I'm so excited about that. We've been waiting a really long time for that here. According to Tandem, anyone who has an in-warranty T-Slim insulin pump already will start getting the software upgrades for Basil IQ sometime in February 2020 and this will be free of charge. And then Tandem expects to be shipping out new T Slim insulin pumps with Basil IQ technology sometime in the first quarter. Now back to you. Thanks for that, Michelle. Also, um, Tandem's investors call for Q3 happened this month, and we've learned that Tandem T Slim X2 insulin pump is coming to more countries in Europe because Tandem signed distribution agreements with distributors from Germany, France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. This pump is expected to hit those markets in early 2020. Now let's talk about two new CGMs. Now we still don't know a lot of detail about both of them, but this is what we know. First one is called Cascade by a company called Waveform, which is a subsidiary of a popular blood glucose manufacturer um, called um, AGA Matrix Aga Matrix, I don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce that name, by them. Cascade consists of a 14-day sensor and a Bluetooth transmitter which sends your blood glucose data to your phone. It measures your glucose every minute and it sends it every minute too. Interestingly, this CGM doesn't actually use a needle. In a press release, the company states that unlike similar systems on the market which use a needle to apply the glucose sensor, the novel sensor and applicator design for the waveform CGM enables a needle-free, virtually pain-free experience. Cascade has a reusable sensor applicator, so you can use one sensor applicator for multiple sensors. Cascade it requires one calibration a day and has a short yet undeclared warm-up period the manufacturer states that users can start to view glucose data in less than one hour at the time of recording this video i could not find any information about accuracy of the cgm commercial launch and pricing information for europe has not yet been announced even though the cgm has just been approved if the approval is expected at some point in 2020 and uh, waveform uh, is expecting the US launch to begin at some point in 2021. Now the second new CGM is called ADEX. I really do hope I'm pronouncing these things right. So ADEX, similar to Cascade, um, is also um, made by a, a popular blood glucose manufacturer. Um, this one is called Gluco RX. We still don't know a lot about this CGM. We know that there is no phone integration. So this CGM only communicates with a dedicated diabetes personal assistant, uh, which kind of looks like a phone, but there is no connectivity with your actual phone. Uh, but I, I really hope that this is something that they are working on. Also, we still don't know what the accuracy is like of this CGM. The only thing we know regarding accuracy is the fact that it needs no calibration. As well as announcing a CGM product, Gluco RX also announced an insulin pump. So previously they made blood glucose meters, but now they've also expanded the pump space and the CGM space. Their tubeless insulin pump with a Bluetooth controller is called Equil. This is a patch pump similar to AcuCheck Combo, so there is a 
pump base, which is changed every couple of days, and a reusable pump patch element with other components like a battery pump and the reservoir. The pump itself holds 200 units of insulin and it is 1.2 cm thin. Just like the CGM, we don't know a lot about this pump, but like I always say, competition is critical and uh, I am so happy to see more companies join in the CGM space and the pump space. If you want more information about both of these, I'm going to put links uh, in the video description. And lastly, Eversense announced results of a study which shows a positive performance of the Eversense implantable CGM system over multiple sensor insertions and sensor removals. As that's it, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic November. November is great because it's pumpkin spice latte season. And also it's Debbie's awareness month, so it's great. I was really lucky to be invited to Swansea to do a talk about diabetes apps at the Type 1 and Tech event in Swansea. If you're interested in that, you can view the entire talk, my entire talk in the video description. Um, link will be in the video description. Uh, the entire conference was actually live streamed and it's now available as a video, as a video on YouTube. So you can watch all of the incredible speakers. It was full packed with great stuff. So check that out um, in the video description. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Michelle, for being my live correspondent from Canada. Uh, I'm sure all of you know Michelle, but in case you don't, uh, have YouTube channel is in the video description. Make sure you subscribe. So check it out. Um, and yeah. I will see you with my December WG's technology report a little bit sooner than usually uh, because I want to record it before the new year time and I'm still editing my uh, uh, EASD Barcelona vlog uh, I will publish it soon thanks so much for watching see you in the next one bye bye